In this topic, we are going to learn about profit and loss. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. This means that when the selling price is higher than the cost price, you earn a profit. Loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. And the loss occurs when the cost price is higher than the selling price. Here we have a factory that manufactures television, which is later sold in a shop. The cost price is the price that is incurred in producing the television. And the selling price, also known as the marked price, is the price that customers pays for buying the television at the shop. Profit as a percentage of the cost price is equal to... So profit is selling price minus cost price as a percentage of the cost price means that it is over the cost price and as a percentage we will have to multiply it by 100% for profit as a percentage of the selling price we will have profit which is selling price minus cost price as a percentage of the selling price means it is over the selling price and again as a percentage means we will have to multiply it by 100% Finally, loss as a percentage of the selling price is equal to loss which is cost minus selling price and as a percentage of the selling price means it is over the selling price. Finally, as a percentage means we will have to multiply by 100%. In this example, the cost price of a sofa is $600. It is selling at a profit of 65%. Find the selling price of the sofa. We will always start with the given price here, which is $600. And let us determine how many percent is this. We know that $600 is the cost price. And therefore, the $600 is... Yes, the 100% which is the original price. Now, how many percent are we required to find for the selling price? Since it is selling at a profit of 65%, the selling price will be 165%. In order to find this, let us first find 1%. We can do so by dividing both sides by 100. And we will have $6 represents 1%. To find 165%, we will multiply both sides by 165. And hence, we have the selling price to be $990. Next, a refrigerator is selling at a loss of 15% on the cost price. The loss is $165 and we are asked to find the cost price of the refrigerator. We will again start with the price that is given here which is $165 and let us determine how many percent is this. Since $165 is the loss and we know that the loss is 15%, therefore $165 represents 15%. Now how many percent do we want to find if we are finding the cost price? Yes, we are finding 100% here because the refrigerator is selling at a loss on the cost price and hence the cost price is the original price of 100%. In order to find 100%, we will first find 1% by dividing both sides by 15 and we will have $11 represents 1%. To find 100%, we will multiply both sides by 100 and hence we have the cost price of the refrigerator is $1,100. Now what happens if we are asked to find the selling price of the refrigerator? Similarly as the previous question, $165 represents 15%. Now the selling price is how many percent? If we are selling at a loss of 15%, then the selling price must be 85%. First we will find 1% by dividing both sides by 15. And $11 represents 1%. To find 85%, we will multiply both sides by 85 and therefore the selling price of the refrigerator is $935. In this next example, the marked price which is the selling price of the laptop is $1850 after making a profit of 25% on the cost price. We are asked to find the cost price of the laptop. Let's start with this price here which is $1850. This price here represents how many percent? Since this price is after making the profit of 25%, the price here will be 
Now we're asked to find the cost price. And therefore, the cost price will be 100%. Again, in order to find 100%, let us first find 1% by dividing both sides by 125. And we will have $14.80 represents 1%. To find 100%, we will multiply both sides by 100. And we will have the cost price of the laptop is $1,480. Now, a factory sold the computer to a shop at 20% loss on the cost price. The shop sold the computer to a customer at $2,227.50 and the shop made a profit of 35% on the shop's cost price. Find the factory's cost price for the computer. So, there are two parts here. One part is the factory and the other part is the shop. Once again, we will start with the price here which is $2,227.50 how many percent do you think this represents? Since this is the price that the shop sold to the customer and this price here is making a profit of 35% therefore this price here represents 135% The question is how many percent do we want to find? Well, we are interested to know the cost price of the shops and hence we will find 100%. To do so, let us first find 1% by dividing both sides by 135 and we will have $16.50 represents 1%. To find 100%, we will multiply both sides by 100 and the cost price of the shop for the computer is $1,650. Now, let us look at the next part here which is the factory price. The factory sold the computer to the shop at a 20% loss on the factory's cost price. So this $1,650 represents how many percent? Because this amount is at a loss of 20%, therefore this amount will be 80%. Since we are interested to find the factory's cost price, we will need to find 100%. To do so, we will find 1% first by dividing both sides by 80. And 20.625 dollars represents 1%. To find 100%, we will multiply both sides by 100. And therefore, the factory's cost price for the computer is $2,062.50. In this next example, a bicycle is sold for $1,250 and the cost price of the bicycle is $700. We are asked to find the profit or loss as a percentage of the cost price. Now, do you think it's a profit or is it a loss? Since the selling price is higher than the cost price, we will definitely make a profit. And therefore, we'll have profit as a percentage of the cost price. And it's given by this. The numerator will be selling price minus cost price. And the denominator will be, yes, the cost price. We know that the selling price is $1,250 and the cost price is $700. And we we'll multiply this by 100% to find the percentage. And finally, we will have the profit as a percentage of the cost price being 44%. In summary, profit is equal to selling price minus cost price and loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. And the loss as a percentage of the selling price is equal to cost price minus selling price over selling price times 100% and profit as a percentage of the cost price is equal to selling price minus cost price over the cost price times 100% and that's all for this topic